Good morning everyone, it's Nicole from the Physio Crew. You probably haven't seen me on the video for a while because I'm normally walking around in the dark, but I've been a bit poorly so I'm starting a bit later today. And I wanted to just talk to you about knee pain. We had loads and loads of people calling yesterday because they have ski or snowboarding injuries, they're coming back and they're not sure whether they've done some serious damage or whether they need to go to A&E or what the best option is. So my advice to you is A&E is for emergencies. So if there's life threatening or if you are pretty sure that you've broken something, absolutely you need to go to A&E straight away. If you have a musculoskeletal condition and you want to save yourself four or six hours sitting in wait in A&E, if it's not life threatening, then definitely it's worth coming and seeing a musculoskeletal physio. So musculoskeletal physios, we specialize in sports injuries. We are able to look at the structures around the knee and see whether those have been um, damaged or any joint. In, um, in fact, we can look at shoulders, we can look at necks, we can look at hips, we can look at ankles and determine where it's, whether it's likely to be a fracture, whether it's likely to be a ligament injury, and we can save you lots of time um, and taking a day off work. If you do need to go to A&E, then what we can do is we can make sure that you have a very, very um, structured letter. A couple of people last year were turned away from A&E after things like um, Achilles ruptures. I had a ACL tear that was turned away from A&E. So actually by coming to see us rather than going to A&E and then having to go back again, like this, unfortunately, this gentleman had to, um, I learned from that mistake. I didn't send him with a letter because it was, to me, it was so obvious. I didn't even charge him for the appointment. I just did the test and said, you need to go to A&E. Um, now we always send letters to make sure that they have all of the clinical indications, even if it's something that seems obvious to us because there are things that are missed. Um, other sort of tips that we want to be looking for is what was the impact? So was this caused by coming down a ski slope and a very, very large impact that could have resulted in something being damaged? Is the person got massive bruising or swelling, which may indicate that a structure has been injured? And we'll be able to guide you on to whether you need to go into a brace, whether you need to go into a boot, whether it just needs taping, or whether actually we need to get you with relative rest, but moving the joints, moving those tissues early on to make sure that you're not getting wasting. Wasting occurs in the muscles after 12 hours of not moving. So we need to make sure that we're maintaining the strength around that joint and um, in those muscles to make sure that we don't get excessive pain and that you're not gonna be off and out of action for longer than is absolutely necessary. So I hope that's been helpful. Just a really quick out of breath after that short walk. This is what happens when you get sick. You can't even manage these tiny little hills. Um, but I look forward to seeing you later in clinic. And if you have any questions, make sure you comment here and you can share the video if you like. Take care, bye.